Misha with the state like the country, the India uh, involves in shaping the behavior of the individual. So that's a very clearly that's a process where we we attempt to instill uh, a certain uh, desired uh, social social values, social skills in individual, and thereby that individual become social. That individual's behavior uh, becomes uh, socially acceptable, right? So uh, that is what uh, uh, socialization and 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 that's a process, as rightly Madhava uh, told that that's a process, continuous process. It doesn't stop at any point of time, right? It is a continuous process. It starts, of course, at the uh, since uh, child takes birth in, in a in a small unit called family then it it like it takes and or it, it it ends at at that point right so that's a continuous process socialization so precisely socialization is a process through which we we attempt to um, we attempt to instill uh, like re much required uh, social values or the social values we need uh, in our society which helps in the functioning of society so that attempts and that kind of uh, the the sets of the values and like uh, values and skills we 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 attempt to introduce and we attempt to conform the form and promote and reach in a constant process is what is known as uh, socialization right okay and therefore uh, we have uh, we will be talking about like agencies of socialization later on right where I just uh, had uh, given you an outline for that how family involves our peer groups involves their how school is involved there how mass media uh, also plays a very constructive role in shaping the individual behavior we will be talking about but uh, before that we should be talking about a little bit on theories of uh, socialization. It's not that what we are talking about as a process uh, for an individual uh, to, uh, like, in terms of uh, what we call uh, socializing an individual. It's not something that is uh, uh, all all the time. That is a kind of a haphazard. Uh, attempts or uh, like a sporadic attempts we have like plenty of theories uh, theories existing uh, till this right and some of them are very uh, popular popular and widely recognized uh, theories we have uh, called coalesce theories otherwise known as looking glass self uh, theory then we have Mead's theory on socialization then we, we then we have Freud's, Sigmund Freud's theory of socialization, right? Now, that what we tell, what you do also uh, agree often that that's a process and that is uh, that is a, an universal phenomenon that is not restricted to your family or my family or your society or my society. That's an universal phenomenon. And that is why probably we have uh, very uh, like widely recognized theories like police uh, a sociologist who proposes uh, looking glass self theory uh, to understand uh, socialization actually what is socialization to understand so uh, to what is theory actually theory is a set of uh, principles a set of statements we uh, which prop which like takes towards to understand um, uh, the basis behind a phenomenon the basis behind an existence, the basis behind a truth, right? So, uh, they are uh, Kulis uh, firmly believes that that the way we behave in our society, or uh, why we actually we we look for socialization, what is the need of socialization, what is the necessity of socialization? No, uh, to understand that socialization and the very process. Police looks at uh, police has attempted to understand 
in the form of imagination, human imagination, right? Or like men's imagination, how, how, men's, how an individual imagines about oneself, how an individual understands oneself. How do you understand yourself? How do you, how do you identify yourself? So Kulis basically uh, try to understand that question, those questions, right? Imagination. What do you imagine? How do you imagine? When do you imagine? Right. So when I imagine myself about myself, that is myself, right? Self, self imagination. So uh, we do not imagine uh, exclusively keeping uh, the other things besides us or behind us away. We always look 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 at ourselves with others. We do not find ourselves an ex ex exclusive identity. Our identity is 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 fine. Is uh, is identified by others right so that is why he he has uh, like uh, left us a, a very popular tom looking glass self when you go to mirror and look yourself you find your picture as like you, if you see yourself here and you probably ask who are you actually who are you so there uh, that you, you, you again you like close your eye and keep thinking that who are you actually are you alone there no actually you are not alone there there are other um, other social uh, social agents other social uh, uh, like elements other social factors other political factors other economic factors uh, behind you besides you right so uh, Therefore, what you are is, is, is a matter of imagination. It's a matter of imagination. One can like identify oneself as what? Uh, an ordinary man. One can, uh, one can identify oneself as a very superman. One can identify oneself as a, a like fantastic man. So that depends upon you how 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 far you can go, how far your mind can move, how far you can understand uh, the the situations around you. So that determines your identity, right? And that again, uh, like that contributes that theory contribute uh, police theory in that sense, looking glass self theory or imagination theory helps uh, helps in understanding socialization, right? Now, uh, how, how do you look at yourself? Uh, you look at yourself probably that yes, I am a, I am an, I'm a growing, growing man. I am a living, I am a living individual. I am a living member in the society. I am a respected member in the society. I, I wish more and more social recognition. I wish more and more uh, like a kind of enriched life. So that those are your wishes. And those wishes actually give you an identity. How? So that is why you go for what? You go for putting efforts to establish or re-establish your identity or to like acquire your identity. You go for education, you go for economic activity, you go for politics, you go for you go for uh, different like possibilities uh, that you, around you that you can acquire, you can, you can, you can have those to establish your identity, right? So likewise, um, that, that's a very uh, clear fact that each individual in our society would like to live live as a uh, like respect respect respected uh, individual right 
so they are uh, therefore like to to acquire that status or to acquire that identity what an what an individual requires it requires it requires some sorts of like avenues or some sort of like resources for that so we look for resources we look for uh, and to get those resources we put our all possible efforts right and there we there we try to establish ourselves our identity we we try to prove our identity right and that is not exception to you or me that is a very universal phenomenon that is that is uh, wherever there is a normal uh, normalcy wherever there is a normal uh, society right uh, everybody looks for one's own identity everybody uh, looks for establishing reestablishing oneself right so that's a very common a uh, phenomena universal phenomena okay so uh, that is what socialization that is what also so your imagination your uh, then uh, your uh, nature of engagement in establishing your identity or like acquiring your identity or creating a kind of uh, identity or like gaining a recognition around you that is that is what that is not something uh, like uh, exclusive or something automatic because that's that's that that we need that individual needs without exception right so uh, therefore uh, that that very uh, nature of imagination very nature of dreaming very nature of putting efforts to materialize one's own dream is what and like the people around you those who also help you extend their all possible supports in recognizing uh, or or like in establishing your own identity and like in in creating your identity eventually uh, whatever like you, you get in the form of a position in the form of a status so the entire process is what we call socialization in very broader sense that is how police look at uh, in the very precise term looking glass self or imagination imaginary self right i am taking so much of time then uh, next uh, important theory is meets theory on socialization meets uh, gives a proposition again uh, which is not uh, exclusively or which is not independent to uh, kulis theory uh, meets beliefs in arts Meet, meets uh, m e a d s meets beliefs in actions human actions which is which is uh, an undeniable fact human 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 behaves human acts and why human behaves why human has to behave has to behave it has biological behavior it has uh, social behavior it has economic behavior it has uh, like uh, political behavior if you like categorically uh, try to understand the human behavior largely we have this like biological behavior like like you have uh, like at, at like uh, attribute called hung, hung, hunger you feel hungry you feel thirst you, you, you feel like uh feel like uh having a kind of uh, biological uh, gratification so that is that is something reflected is is in each and every individual right and uh, since that is uh, that is that is an undeniable fact that is irrational biological behavior or your social behavior or like um, our political behavior we behave according to our needs according to our circumstances right 
then uh, and which is quite quite natural taking bath in society taking bath in like and on and on earth everybody uh, uh, like behave to survive either survive or to like to live for some time at least behaves so there is always a purpose there is always an intention behind our behavior maybe negative maybe positive maybe 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 constructive maybe destructive but we do behave that's a very natural phenomenon so since we behave and that is what uh, we that is quite natural quite uh, something which is an undeniable fact then uh, that has to be regulated that has to be that has to be like that has to be given safe that has uh, that that has to be taken care of uh, taken care of by uh, the the experienced people or by the by the active agencies by the active uh, active uh, process of our society where we live where an individual lives so that your behavior when it is regulated when your action is regulated or when your actions are regulated by uh, by some forces internal forces or external forces internal maybe your family members or external maybe the uh, the uh, state mechanisms like police police personnel civil police or my court of justice uh, the, the, those are the state mechanisms where this this they are involved they are in regulating your behavior right so primarily what is happening there that is what you are constantly you are being socialized there you have been uh, put under a pressure uh, to to behave in a in a manner that is accepted by or that is that is that is that is intended by uh, the others right so that is also uh, uh, is there in the in the very nature of socialization we do have like mechanisms at the micro level at the meso level at the macro level as well which actually regulate in some form our behavior uh, to take a shape uh, some uh, some shape right which is a, which actually uh, which is actually accept expected by them only those who regulate maybe your parents maybe your uh, uh, grand uh, parents maybe your close so so society members maybe your your teachers so that is why i also took the name of maybe the like uh, like law enforcing agency like police department maybe the uh, court machineries maybe right so again so meets in that sense uh the socialization uh yes there are there are basis of social what are the basis these behaviors uh since we we behave uh, in a very uh on interrupted manner like one has to behave if if one has to live if if you are you wish to live you have to behave otherwise you can't live right since that is quite natural right um that's an undeniable fact so there are these are the basis now um, as we expect uh, the kind of like individual uh, so our behavior should not like disturbs the uh, lives of others should not like interfere in the life of others so definitely we look for some mechanism some like established uh this kind of uh principles which help us in like socializing uh, uh socializing us uh, social socializing an individual so that is why uh police looks at actions uh since actions are undeniable fact that we we require uh 
we require kind of check and balance systems. Therefore, that process is that the very process of sex and balance system is called socialization. Otherwise, right? So that is there. Then uh, again, important. That's a very important uh, theories of socialization that uh, established by uh, proposed by uh, Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud uh, proposes that that our behavior uh, basically is guided by three major forces three major uh, contributing forces. That is our uh, biological force. That is our psychological force. Biological is the first. Um, or secondly, that is our psychological force. And third is our social, social force. Right. So why you behave so? Basically, there are three major forces influencing your behavior. Those are biological, uh, psychological, and social. That influence, those influence your behavior, how you are. So uh, again, putting in, in like uh, that uh, our behavior or human mind, uh, uh, he has like proposed psychoanalysis theory, psychoanalysis theory like analysis of mind, psychoanalysis. I mean, psychoanalysis means psychoanalysis, or analysis of the mind, right? So uh, he puts uh, the mind in like in three, uh, three spheres, like eat, ego, and super ego. Eat, ego, and super ego, right? Uh, conscious, subconscious, and unconscious otherwise the super super ego is uh, is treated with uh, conscious conscious state of mind then our uh, like ego is treated treated with with like uh, Subconscious, it is uh, sorry that super ego is treated with conscious state of mind, and ego is treated with the subconscious state of mind, and the id is treated with uh, it is equal equally found with or identify with with the uh, like unconscious state of mind. So whatever may be our state of mind, that is our unconscious. I, I could have uh, pictur pictorically present, but since I haven't prepared a kind of a PPT, I cannot share it. But just one can mind that uh, understand that try to understand that like he looks at our uh, my state of mind in terms of like. Uh, like eat ego and super ego. Super ego is what treated or identify with 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 the conscious state of mind. Then ego is identified with the the subconscious subconscious state of mind and the uh, like unconscious state of mind is identified with the eat. So whatever may be the state of minds, right? Those are primarily, or the, those are mostly influenced by our biological factors, our uh, psychological factors, and our social factors. So our mind, which which is uh, and that 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 mind, the state of mind, or the way we like understand situation that actually takes us towards an action. So our behavior is finally what it is. It is an outcome of these three active forces. Our behavior is what our behavior is is an outcome. It's an is a product or product of these three major 
uh, forces, biological forces, uh, cycles, our uh, psychological forces and and uh, social forces. Right. So, uh, so, so how it contributes uh, to socialization theory? That is important to understand. How, how does it contribute uh, to socialization theory? We understand that, okay, E digestase, like a child behaves, very at the very uh, infant stage, how does a child behave? It's in a very innocent manner. Child doesn't understand things. Child doesn't, uh, or child cannot uh, like operate things according to uh, what the child's needs or child's wishes. But that's that's a need. Child behaves. Child play, child plays with toys. Child plays with you. Child plays with the things or goods around him or her but not in a proper manner not in a proper manner but that is that is a fact that is a like the child behaves child like operate things around in a very uh, like um, improper manner that you do not like you always intervene there always interfere there no this is how you are supposed to uh, like uh, okay suppose there is uh, fire child doesn't understand that is fire and that is going to harm the child isn't it but that that's a kind of what a stage that is uh, an infant on ex not much experience of like live realities so child uh, simply uh, goes and try to grab the fire the burning fire that that is his or her interest actually attracts that psychological like i mean uh, the psyche or like psychological activities is working their force is working that that attracts a flame when it is burning a candle is burning a child that attracts a child that's a psychological this stage is what child doesn't understand at a very early stage but again it, that uh, burning candle attracts that's like uh, i mean the that uh, both like psyche is involved there that biological uh biological compositions that that uh, getting attracted towards object towards particular to objects and more on living organisms is biological that's it so, uh, that is biological uh, act, um, biological attributes and then there is a desires which is uh, psychological so that that burning flame does not like uh, uh, it, it looks attractive and that is why it, it, it gets I mean child gets attracted toward the burning uh, burning flame right so psychology uh, this psychological factors is working there so what what was my point is that that is and then, then the third one is the social factors. How social? Now you are interfering there. You are intervening. No, that is going to burn you. you uh, that is going to harm you. So you 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 simply uh, come in the skew of that child. No, you say there. No, that is something is going to harm you. You come in the skew of that child. So that's a sociological intervention. So gradually, child learns. Uh, that how to behave with the burning flame, burning or uh, how to behave with fire, right? So that is what how um, Freud has actually analyzed the entire situation uh, with this uh, like uh, uh, biological uh, attributes, psychological attributes, and sociological attributes, and finally uh, he has been identified with that. Uh, socialization theory uh, one of his contribution is more of towards socializing so 
like since we understand this is what something uh, quite natural for an, uh, every individual and therefore we need a kind of uh, psychological intervention or like social interventions right and then very process of uh, the uh, fulfilling uh, needs of by an individual uh, to a constantly guided process uh, by different uh, like organized mechanisms or uh, by different unorganized mechanisms uh, around you is again uh, what uh, like uh, qualifies to become as a theory of socialization right psychoanalysis theory of socialization okay now we'll move forward and anything you would like to ask me if i can clarify you on this it is humid if not hot in my room where i am sitting anyway uh, you may uh, add something or you, if you have any doubt or would like to add something you can am i audible to all of you yes sir i need some feedback yes, otherwise sir. it looks like uh, i am becoming monotonous i am talking to myself only it should not so happen okay so ganeshan anything you would like to uh, tell or add? any anyone can like please um, give me some sort of feedback or inputs so that be, it would be a bit interesting for for all of us Let's continue. So, uh, yes, Shubhasri. Yes, sir. Ah, did she put her in No, sir. No. No. Okay. Okay. Let's then move forward. Then uh, we have the, this. Uh, we have three. We we, have, we talk three about three major theories of socialization. Then we have agencies of socialization. Agencies of very quite. Uh, you, you all are familiar. The agencies of socialization. Now, who takes the responsibility of socialization? For like youngest one, maybe your brothers, maybe your your sisters you take the responsibility of socializing right but for uh, for that purpose we have an we have some identified agencies of socialization categorically family peer group school mass media these days very uh, it, it plays very uh, big role in in socializes in socializing process now family do you believe that family uh, help us in uh, socialization yes sir what does family do family kona kore family to backbone of our life and family first uh, start our starting socialization starts from family exactly. so that uh, mother first start no uh, uh first talking towards uh, talking and uh, we first know our languages and mm -hmm. behaviors and uh, manners. Our society manners yeah. all things do bring from our family uh so uh, a counter questions do we need at all that do we need that kind of socialization from from family yes sir what is the need if 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 we if we do not get then what what might happen to you uh, we did not uh... suppose you do not learn language suppose you uh, do not like or you do not know how to 
talk to other how to so many problems and uh, yes. we have no knowledge about languages and how to behave in society and yeah. our uh, culture um, uh, many problems uh, arise that uh, if we know our family society uh, mm. not, if we not, do not know how to talk how to like uh, negotiate how to how to bargain how to uh, like how to compromise in situations or in in, in, in the time of need so uh, that's uh, that creates difficulty for you so family or the primary unit of socialization there uh, actually that's uh, makes an individual the child or helps that that child uh, or like helps in helps the child in what forms like in in the form of developing some sort of like uh, communicable language uh, or some sort of like uh, accept, like a kind of acceptable behaviors right so that we get from our family a child gets from one's own family isn't it and uh, that that helps a lot an individual in adapting in in other situations in a real life situation when it when the child keeps fit in or in practical life even within the family even within the family that's a a uh, very essential condition otherwise you might be get rejected by others other members of your family isn't it if you behave like a mad which is not accepted by or which is not acceptable by others so you might you can you might develop a sense of what sense of isolation sense of like rejection a sense of on on social you are not a social you cannot be uh, like considered as a social so that is why uh, that's a very much essential condition uh, what like having social values or social skills that with uh, that family and that process plays a very uh, very fundamental roles at the uh, beginning of uh, social life of an individual for an individual isn't it fundamental or primary uh, role in socialization uh, is played by uh, family so uh, without any doubt family in that sense is a, is an agency agency of socialization agency in the sense a, agency has again a concept like agency family has its own composition family it's constituted with few members it has its own uh, like structure where we we see sort of relationship among the family members we see sort of like uh, sort of a principle sort of uh, values respected values sort of uh, constantly uh, like of fractalized values we see in that agency in that family and that is why it takes the of uh, Say take the form of uh, agents; otherwise, uh, cannot. Right. So, uh, families uh, like uh, family does qualify for all this. Um, it does since it has all those like components, and then it plays a very uh, primary or fundamental role in shaping the behavior of an individual. Uh, it can is called as an agency of socialization then we have peer group how oh, how do you believe in that your peer group to can be considered as uh, like agency your peer group peer group means maybe the friend circle where you where you live with whom you actually live with whom you spend most of your time pure group yes 
children are pure groups yes no that is exactly i am telling about the situation this uh, the uh, structure you like uh, pure means for you your friends your like close uh, close close colleagues and yes uh, close people. friends yes fellows where actually most of the time you spend with whom actually most of the time you use spend right so how how do they help in socialization process do you believe that peer play uh play some role yes sir yes sir uh, so i just want to add yes. uh, citing an example by the way yes so so if uh, we see if i see that my friend is got appreciated by doing such kind of work by others in a society so i would like to do the same kind of work and would like to got that kind of appreciation from the members so here uh, peer groups uh, works as an agency because i i do my work but in addition to that i do copy others i do follow others behavior pattern to got appreciated by the society so here so uh, peer group also works as an agency right exactly yes and any uh, like ganesham was telling something no sir right no uh, where you live where as i told you where you like spend most of your time they they get a uh, ample opportunity to uh, understand you how do you act or how do you behave how you are supposed to behave or where where where, where is the scope of like doing better doing or behaving in a better way in a better manner so since they are the very close observer they are very uh, very they live in proximity to you close proximity to you all the times or most of the times they understand better you and they uh, they like uh, being peers they play a very uh, kind of baseline a kind of constructive role in one's individual life if anywhere you you deviate or in, in negative sense or in positive sense in anywhere you do uh, something good as mother i did that you, if you do uh, something good then you get you get appreciation from your uh, friends from your groups group members which actually forms a society so that the very very uh, nature of uh, getting feedback and uh, uh, getting motivated by their and further like uh, upholding that behavior or embracing one's own behavior right is what we call um, also socialization which is uh, uh, in a um, in a uh, like a big way one can say i could say that uh, is uh, regulated by peers hey right. if you uh, like if you commit a crime somewhere and it is it is uh, it is it is found by or it is it is caught by your peers right and then they 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 wish to or they wanted or they wanted to uh, like remind you that what you are doing is not good that's a crime that's a crime now you justify you, the, the group members justify how it is a crime where i am wrong or how my behavior is wrong how my act is wrong how my act has given a like uh, uh, given a kind of uh, uh, status of a crime how so somewhere they help you to like uh, behave in a manner that what uh, the the society expect 
the group ex the group expect the group means the representation of society the peer means the representative representation of society and if like that that peer group itself is what the group itself is criminals constituted by criminals you cannot be you cannot expect uh, like a socially acceptable behavior there right so that peer groups which is actually ideally uh, has to be uh, as like uh, has to be a socially representative group where actually we can expect a socially desirable uh, behavior socially so socially uh, like cherish behaviors right so in that sense peer group uh, two plays a very important role and that is why it it takes the position of uh, agency of socialization since it keeps capacity to bring necessary changes in an individual uh, of of one zone identified group in a in a in a desirable direction that is why that peer peer group has been given with the status of an agency so in the process of like uh, socialization as a kind of constant a uh, constant uh, process peer uh, peer groups plays a very uh, constructive role right okay next is uh, school school is an agency of socialization i believe that all of you uh, agree with the fact the school is what uh, undoubtedly as an agency of socialization isn't it no doubt that say a uh, secondary it is called a secondary agency of socialization and like family is called as a uh, uh, primary a uh, 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 primary platform of socialization as, as school is called as a secondary platform of socialization and likewise peer group is what is what we call uh, also a secondary platform or informal platform of socialization informal more of informal but school is what formal or secondary platform of platform for socialization so uh, what that is i i, I do not I, i don't think you require um, uh, explanation or uh, description that how school plays uh, an agency uh, a role of an agency uh, for socialization of an individual it educates school educates our school introduces formal set of education formal uh, like education Uh, to an individual but the very basis of introducing education the very nature of uh, introducing education uh, to an individual by the school is what socialization the basis what do you call that is pedagogy right now uh um, uh like first of all you, you, you should think about the composition of a uh, school uh, with whom school is uh, with composed of or constituted with member of society ultimately members of society there is again a relationship teacher students teachers students and other staffs and that is again that school is run by or is uh, is regulated by certain established certain like uh, uh, certain norms certain principles right and ultimately what does it do it educates our uh, uh, individual or our people 
and that the very nature of education or very nature of uh, learning in school like platform or schooling itself is what schooling means what that is uh, like uh, like enriching social behaviors or like developing social values reaffirming social values or like transforming social values what we expect today or what we what we will be needing tomorrow or in future that what exactly school attempt to introduce that what school attempts to uh, attempts to practice school attempts to materialize in an individual right and that is what we call uh, the very process of school in providing education or in developing uh, necessary social values and skills is what we call socialization and right in that sense school is what uh, a formal or secondary agency of socialization after family or fear groups that's an agency then we have another uh, very active agencies of socialization that is mass media do you believe that mass media does also plays uh, some sort of role in shaping the behavior of yourself shaping the behavior of an individual or particularly in the in in in, in terms of socialization or mass media Yes, sir. It is the um, uh, most important. Also, yes. Like, uh, yes, sir. Like um, everyday news uh, and everyday uh, what happen. We know uh, through the mass media. It is the most important. Also, uh, comparison to our family, our group, and school. Also. Mm -hmm. uh, may May I know who who are you? Yes. Subhashri. Subhashri. Subhashri Bera. Subhashri. Yes, uh, you, you tell us about your 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 gain from uh, uh, mass media. What you have learned from mass media? First thing, sir, mass media is the um, great platform to uh, uh, know every day what happening, every day political news and uh, game news and everything we know through the mass media. Mm. So it is the uh, most important um, platform to uh, uh, develop socialization. Social ethic, huh? I. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Anything you would like to? Any anyone would like to? Reflect on that how mass media is an agency of socialization. Yes, sir. Mass media is the very crucial part of our socialization, and uh, it is uh, day to day life, which is uh, some news and uh, daily, which is uh, provide some news and uh, um, uh, some important uh, rules, facts, uh, uh, some information regarding to our life. And uh, also historical events, and uh, sir, it is very important to our uh, uh, socialization, so that uh, it's very need to our uh, society. To that, uh, mass media role is a very important to all of our. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take an example of a child. A child of a tender race. What a child follows from what is what a child follows from that mass media, like let's say electronic media, television. Fine, electronic media. It's mass media. What the, what a child follows from there? Oh, sir, uh, now it is. 
yes sir nowadays a child uh, follows from even that mobile uh, she can search and uh, on um, place on youtube also search many things and uh, Uh, on google search also some informations regarding that and also play some games so uh, and uh, you know she every news is uh, also she find all that even for can, uh, can get a child also on mass media and right. also he is dedicated dedicated life he is already so tv and um, this is on radio and uh, sometimes uh, uh, so on cinema also uh, gain knowledge and about our society and culture all details sir right thank you so uh, likewise other uh, agencies uh, mass media like plays a very powerful uh, role in shaping the behavior of child not only child like uh, uh, as group uh, like of you or like it can also shape mind behavior right uh, like child's learns language from mass media child Learns how to like behave with uh, the uh, fellow beings with, in our society. When child is watching, uh, uh, suppose uh, say uh, that is there is a very popular uh, cartoon is coming uh, called Peppa Pig. Have you ever come across with a cartoon? It's called Peppa Pig. No sir. Peppa Pig. that's a uh, cartoon that that comes in uh, uh, that casted in that is casted in uh, nick junior that's a, that is a channel called nick junior where uh, it it uh, comes uh, it's called that is name is peppa pig where actually uh, two three family they how they live together uh, that has been uh, shown there in that um, in that uh, episode or in that uh, program right so they are actually how they communicate to each other how they negotiate uh, with the needs and uh, wishes of each other uh, then uh, how how they behave with the physical environment around oneself uh, so that has been uh, Uh, pictorially uh, well uh, presented there and in a, i have observed uh, in my child as well so that is why i am citing that example and also you can read uh, like work of uh, this jan uh, piaget cognitive development and also like uh, the work of uh, that is um what is that i mean the work of this uh, sigmund freud and that work of uh, social theory by uh, by bendura right so they uh, like child interacts with the given things with the given situation so when it watches or when child watches keep keep watching a program or something that is going on in a very active form in due process child learns many things right child learns language child uh, learns social uh, like etiquette child learns uh, that uh, the proper manner of behaving with the physical environment like if you talk about like uh, like water pollution or washing hands or uh, what to eat how to eat when to eat and uh, like how to sleep uh, right so these are what 
very I mean basic things that uh, one can one can learn from mass media. We, uh, especially for the, at the tender age, we we uh, socialize our children uh, with the help of electronic media like us. Uh, you are telling the smartphone or cell phone or uh, televisions programs, televisions or like computer systems. You can uh, socialize, uh, but uh, like at the more matured age, when you uh, become more experienced, uh, at that time uh, we we take opportunities of different mass media like uh, print media, electronic media, right? Then. Uh, Mostly, uh, we, we uh, then with those help we get access to uh, different uh, like mass media, and that helps. Like uh, some some someone of you were telling that okay we we, we get exposure to a um, uh, lot of informations, lot of uh, information we get uh, or we we get opportunity to get. Um, uh, knowledge ex exposure to knowledge and that helps us in uh, like uh, doing some informed practices in our life so what is that informed practices or informed way of behaving is that is what uh, socialization our informed way of behavior informed way of practices um, I mean, besides language things or values things, uh, is what we call socialization process, right? Now today uh, there is a what? Uh, the problems like uh, corona invasion or the like infection of uh, infection of the uh, uh, the spread of the virus corona uh, as uh, like where uh, we are uh, informing ourselves or where I mean through this help of mass media we are getting exposure to uh, different kinds of uh, knowledge or we are getting a different information from different sources about what? About the virus, about how to deal with the virus, how to deal with the difficult situations. And that, uh, that information, that knowledge helping you, uh, uh, it, helping you in behaving in a particular manner. Or probably because of that information, because of the knowledge, because of that knowledge that you have acquired or you have uh, taken from a, a source called mass media, you are behaving in a uh, manner, right? Socially acceptable manner. Now, what is that uh, behavior? What is that social behavior expected from you? You are expected to put mask, covered masks, covering your nose, mouth. Right, while, uh, while uh, uh, it's going to a public place, that is a kind of expected behavior you are supposed to exhibit in public space, in public places. So that is not that by force you are doing, probably some of my top you might, have, you might be doing uh, forcefully, but then the fact is that if I am a carrier or if some other other like are infected around me, and there is a very high possibility that uh, uh, they might uh, make me, uh, they might infect me uh, through this uh, like entries like a mouth or nose. So if I am if I am wearing or if I wear a like uh, protective mask, that chance uh, or getting chance of um, infection might uh, be minimized to a greater extent, right? So that's a, again, uh, 
while like doing that practices or respecting that practices or and putting that in practice uh, in one's own life is what an expected behavior so again social that is why uh, what we call mass media they are also playing some kind of constructive the role in terms of shaping your behavior isn't it so many things one can talk about uh, the role of mass media as an agency of education right then uh, okay anything uh, anyone would like to uh, add or like uh, would like to keep we can on this like agencies of socialization family peer group school and mass media no one okay then next unit is our uh, uh, education and social structure uh, social stratification that is unit second and social mobility a social structure education and social structure what 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 is social structure you mean what do you mean by social structure just we are talking about what do you mean by social structure like we have a physical structure of a tree we have a physical structure of a house we have a physical structure of a a uh, wild animal or bird likewise we have a social structure we have different social structures what what are those like social structures uh like okay yes anyone please come up what do you mean by social structure yes ganeshyam ji are you there yes sir yes social structure pehle kaun hai bhujal सोशल 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 बैकग्राउंड को नहीं हमें जहां सोशल जहां भी देखु जंदे तो सेटा तो स्ट्रक्चर जो कि हमरो माने फील्ड हो कि हमरो हाउस नी ट्रीज हो कि हमरो तो प्लेग्राउंड हो जहां भी जहां हमें माने सोशल जहां भी हमें देखु जंदे सेटा हो कि हमरो सोशल स्ट्रक्चर ने इवन तो जहां भी हमें जो गाड़ी हो कि जहां भी हम सोशल माने जहां भी हम सब देखु जंदे हम माने फ्री सर्कल रे तो जाय जो देखन सेटा हम सो स्ट्रक्चर यस एनीवन प्लीज माधव द सर स्ट्रक्चर मींस ए सेफ भाई अ सोशल स्ट्रक्चर इफ आई टेक एग्जांपल ऑफ अ टाउन और अ ब्लॉक लाइक आई कुड से दैट देयर आर सो मेनी मेंबर्स इन अ फैमिली एंड विद सो मेनी फैमिलीज देयर इज अ विलेज and with so yeah. many villages there is a block like that so this is yeah. a structure if this is a society if india is a society there are different states and within those states there are different district different villages different families so this is a structure this is indian social structure we can say okay okay Am I right sir yeah so uh, uh, let let me clear you you are right ganesha and madhava uh like madhav was mixing a picture like political and social structure political structure he started talking about block district these are all political structure political mechanism but yes uh, like ganesham as or madhav himself was telling that like okay we have family no that's a social structure that's a first social structure family we have like uh, we have like uh village that's a social structure we have uh, like religion that's a social structure beyond that we have a caste we have community we have class uh in in sociology these are termed as social structure like family 
caste, your community, religion. Okay, in sociology, these are termed as social structure. I mean, class. Like uh, we we have a very uh, uh, like uh, uh, it's kind of phenomena like lower class, uh, middle class, upper class. Isn't it? You must have come across with those terms. These are uh, so, soci I mean, sociologically um, justified terms, right? Uh, family is a structure, social structure. That's a part of society. That uh, family itself cons constitutes a whole structure. But again, that is a part of society. Right? But then that is a structure. That is a structure. Why 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 it is a so it is structure or it is a social structure? Because simply it 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 is composed of identified members definite members it is composed of definite beliefs definite customs and that is why it is structures there is a there is also a definite relationship there is an understandable relationship within the family and that is visible that is visible. That is something understandable. The members are understandable. The uh, relationship is understandable. Uh, the uh, the nature of uh, the nature of behavior, the nature of uh, very existence of that family is understandable. And that is why that is it's called as structure, social structure. Likewise, caste community, religion, class, like uh, lower class, middle class, or uh, upper class. Like each one of them is identified by its own, first of all, by its own social member, social element, that is a member. So each of them is identified the members, definite members. Then they are identified by their practices. They are identified by their purpose, purpose of their structure. There is a purpose of family. There is a purpose of a community. There is a purpose of a caste. There is a purpose of a religion. There is a purpose of a class. Right. So each of each of them is identified by a definite definite members by definite norms by definite practices by definite purposes. So when it is there, we 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 level them as social structures very simple right now here uh, there is an attempt to understand this structure uh, keeping education uh, keeping education uh, as a kind of uh, elements a kind of elements in each and every structure. Now, how, what sort of relationship is there in between education and family? What sort of relationship is there? Uh, what sort of relationship is between there in between? Is there in between uh, a community and education, or education and community, or education and likewise, education and religion, education and Class, lower, middle, or upper. Right. So this has been uh, uh, 
has been addressed in this in this uh, unit i'm not going to uh, give you a thorough uh, description of that because it will be taking a uh, longer time and very simple things you can understand by consulting your text a prescribed text there is no much uh, like technical things to understand there now coming to the other thing uh, social stratification there is another subject matter we are supposed to deal with there is social stratification right education and social stratification what do you mean social stratification like social stratification we have uh, our our society is categorically stratified right largely in the name of what stratified by our um, our power our position our uh, our group so economically society can be classified uh, like um, as i was telling you like a structure like uh, uh, middle what we say lower lower class or uh, lower group middle group or middle class or, or like upper class that is that is how we we, we classify based on their economic standard economic uh, status we classify like uh, like uh, lower middle and upper right sometimes we also classify uh, like a society in terms of like position and power we say uh, that is a political class we we say that is a business class we say that is a uh, like um learn learn or uh, like educated class or like educated class learn a uh, learning uh, class we say sometimes uh that's a uh like a sporting class or say uh, those who like like sports and events so we have different kind of classification based on uh, people uh, like interest people people positions right so, suppose we have a, like a, let's for example say a political class we have a political class in our society how, how do you look at that uh you might have like come across with the fact that there are some people in our society they keep very close interest in politics and which politics state politics not family politics or chief politics let's say state politics they they run after uh, uh securing a political position or getting elected in their in their in their political territory in their political locality and you might have uh, observed that you might have uh, understood the, uh, you might have come across with the fact that sometimes it so happens that uh, that is confined to a uh, few people they belong to again for the family uh, sorry a family a particular family particular group of people we have like uh, like political class one can say always side an example of like odisha we have example of which patnaik ji navin patnaik ji like from starting from biju patnaik janki balla patnaik then you have navin patnaik who else is there so political class successively the uh, the members of the family you know 
they have they deliberately or by chance they they get the position that political that po political position and power and that is why they are identified as political class they are political people our people live around around them our people are closely connected with them are what we identify them as political class right likewise we have uh, cl we classify our society in terms of business class business class do you believe that we have business class people who keeps interest in business which kind of business trade and commerce business not uh, other terms but trade and business those who like keep interest in doing trade and commerce you can you might find that they are identified people they keep interest in that uh, like uh, like my my when i, I now i am doing trade and commerce my my like my successors would be doing the same work trade and commerce then uh, their successor would be engaging in that same trade and commerce kind of one so what you have that kind of uh, created a kind of class uh, in, in that society that's called uh, business class so likewise we have uh, different uh, social stratification uh, society. no the point is education and uh, social stratification here now how education plays a kind of uh, intermediary role or kind of uh, constructive role therein in that social structure be it social structure or social stratification or social mobility there is again uh, another term that is social mobility like um, uh, the particular group of uh, uh, like uh, members identify members when or or a, even an individual being moves from one uh, one one particular status to another uh, status maybe in a progressive form progressive way or in an, in a regressive way so that the very moment of uh, in progressive uh, manner or in regressive manner coming down is what we call social mobility there again we have two kinds of social mobility that is vertical and uh, uh, three in fact vertical horizontal and uh, other one is third one is a uh, spatial right so like in this uh, like social structure social stratification social mobility there is a belief that and there is also a kind of inclination a kind of understanding very clear understanding that education plays a very uh, constructive role in maintaining status quo in maintaining the social structure or in like in maintaining social stratification or in in maintaining social mobility that is what is given there in uh, in that uh, in that part of uh, your uh, courses right many thing you, you may not have uh, cleared so you read that text you, you will come to know what uh, does it means but i precisely what i told you is that that is the structure or class class social stratification as uh, like uh, as i told you we have different class like in terms of economic position economic power in terms of political position and political power uh, in other in other forms we we have been stratified uh, we have stratified our society likewise uh, social mobility we have like different kind of social mobilities which is again determined by education uh, in many ways so i suggest you to go through that uh, like text uh, that won't be a difficult uh, like content for you to uh, grasp or to understand okay then uh, let's move to another unit that is called education and 
social change, education and development, education and globalization. Education and social change. Again, let's end. Okay. Social change. Do you see any kind of talmel, any kind of uh, talmel means <laughs> relationship uh, that you uh, any kind of relationship between education and social change? Let me first tell what is social, what do you, what do you, how do you uh, like understand social change? Uh, you mean social change? How do you understand social change? How do you look at social change? To whom you say social change? Yes, anyone, please. Uh, yes, sir, I am Subhashri. Yes. Uh, social change, uh, day to day life, our social development, we, we feel uh, we are developed. Uh, it also practically. Uh, and main, uh, in this region, main field is, uh, um, main great vital role is education. Education is the most important thing to uh, develop uh, our social education, day-to-day -day life, living style, uh, technology, and many things. So um, social change is uh, get affected by education. Education is the most important thing. And everything so, was developed. Subhashree, if you yes, precisely sir. try to, uh, uh, like, uh, try to uh, understand me uh, or to come to if we go to other minds what do you what do you mean by social change how do you understand it what is that change social change uh, for example so social change means uh, an uh, uh, our develop ourselves our hmm. society change uh, every day day to day life we feel we change ourselves every place like it political uh, education and everything, technology, everything should change. So I feel social. You know, I, I I need a very uh, like concrete example. You may say concrete or a very a uh, convincing example of social change. Uh, what we can cite or we we can cite today. We can cite. We will be citing in future the change, social change. Okay. For example, yes, anyone uh, like not uh, Subhashree. Other also can like uh, react on this or reflect. You know, what do you mean by social change? Yes, so others. I, 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 I say one example in uh, past past time uh, in education place uh, uh, means education not to develop. मतलब इतना भी लोग education को मतलब past life में लोगों education को नहीं मानते लोग मतलब गर्ल्स लोगों को अलाउ नहीं करते एजुकेशन के लिए तो नाउ वी फील ऑल एजुकेशन एजुकेशन नीड टू ए राइट एवरी 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 बड़ी सूट टेक एजुकेशन नाउ इट इज सो इट इज ए इम्पोर्टेंट एग्जांपल इन सोशल चेंज सोसाइटी गुड एक्सेक्टली एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग नो दैट इज अ चेंज टुडे व now uh, uh, today we see uh, there was a time when education was i mean getting education or the practice of education was a, was a restricted phenomenon isn't it that 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 is that was not so common that was not so crazy what today we have crazy means the popularity that today we have now see the mode of education we we are uh, like uh, adapting, you know, uh, we have set in such a condition that we are connected uh, in a distance mode called through this electronic uh, gadgets. We are connect. We are connected to each other. Or what? No, the, the, like the kind of uh, uh, like change we have brought in in our society. In, uh, there was a time which, when it was a restricted practice. Education was a restricted practice. It was confined to. Um, home, it was confined to Gurukul, it was confined to Gurukul, again it was confined to, if you, if you see, uh, like uh, the girls were uh, 
not like the girls education was not uh, so encouraging or the participation of girls in education in this, in, in, in terms of uh, getting education or in terms of like uh, like like putting one's own resource in terms of uh, functioning of the system of education and now uh, we see a kind of what um, um, like equational uh, balance uh, there is a balance in terms of participation of girls in the system of education which was not earlier so now i mean when the family members or when society uh, was restricting these girls uh, uh, like uh, as members of society uh, uh, in terms of getting education today but today i mean also there might be some kind of restriction there might be some kind of agitation but then we are a bit generous we are a bit what liberal in 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 trying to what ensure education for all so that's a change that's a change which was not there like uh, even 50 years back we had not the same condition in terms of participation of the both uh, gender side in uh, education so itself is what the change that is why change and then uh, what subhashree was telling actually that education or uh, you may say eventually education has played uh, i mean in the in the context of like uh, participation of in uh, participation of girls in education in, in education system uh, education itself has uh, played a very uh, crucial or a very constructive role uh, where actually what uh, today we see uh, or the change we see in education is is again uh, there the role of education is uh, uh, is is quantifiable or role of education is understandable there right now besides that uh, social change uh, like in uh, in other terms uh, the role of education if you talk about in terms of uh, like the, so the change we see in our society in terms of our values that we 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 give in terms of our practices we adapt in terms of our uh, like uh, in terms of uh, the the affairs we 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 get and guest which essentially bring changes in our uh, society uh education uh, has a greater stake in it or greater stake in that all uh, right change social change uh change in terms of like as a, as i was telling you in terms of our practice i mean just uh, subhashree cited about the participation of girls or the impression on girls towards education we have today we we have a situation like where actually girls excel than boys girls are doing better than boys that situation was not there earlier but today we have that kind of situation and then uh, like uh, the the practices today we have uh, which actually uh, uh, that education plays has played a very uh, constructive role there in bringing social change so what are those contexts i would like to uh, confirm here like social change like social change like like uh, the feeling of you know uh, superstition or the practice of superstition practice of uh, uh, like untouchability uh the practice of uh the kind of conservative practices we had conservative practices means take for example uh okay 
take for example uh, a social practice which is uh, identified by a caste say for example uh, cutting hair cutting hair is to be uh, is to be a profession of a barber isn't it a barber a particular caste particular class uh, caste isn't it but uh, you know uh, but people uh, there is a there is a understanding among people no it is actually uh, it is not uh, it is not supposed to be a privilege or it's not supposed to be a kind of uh, a kind of hatred act by a particular caste or particular individual identified by the caste or by a class or by a community why not by others so then gradually what we have seen is that gradually other people people from other uh, backgrounds other other community other other beliefs they started doing the same uh, same act that is uh, hair cutting right so that kind of mindset that kind of understanding has actually that change actually that that change in mindset change in understanding has uh, influenced by education itself like uh, uh, these days uh, we have like uh, incidents of like inter caste marriage or like inter religion marriage earlier it was like the inter caste marriage was found to be a kind of uh, what it was condemned by uh, people of one's own caste one's own group one's own class it was condemned it, uh, those who like were indulging in such art were uh, kept isolated this, those were like uh, those were punished or uh, they are punished by their own people inter caste marriage or inter religion marriage but today we see a frequent uh, practice such kind of practice that those are the changes that, that is a change in society and actually where well, education there is playing a constructive role no uh, that can be done no problem uh, no uh, scientifically or socially there is no like much harm in it and for that we have different mechanisms to ensure like give you security uh, to uh, to uh, do such kind or uh, to engage in such kind of work there is no problem if something is approaching to you and there is a, a better possibilities in in doing so then one should go for that and people are going for that in that uh, hope and there, there are better possibilities right uh, and eventually they are getting breakthrough out of it in their choice in their uh, in in their practice so that those are the changes we see right so education again plays a a uh, constructive role in in that so in bringing that or inviting those social changes in our society and that's what we call also development otherwise partially that what we also call also development education and development right education is identified with or otherwise uh, edu education is understood closely with development isn't it education is uh, is understood closely with development isn't it are you there or not yes sir uh ame sikhya ko uh vikas sahit ba development sahit sobale joru chu ba sobale ame jodi vikas ko dekhi ba tale education गोटे भूमिका रही गोटे कौन संपर्क रही देख रक्जापल डेभलपमेंट इन दि फर्म अफ 
uh, our uh, our in in our primary sector development in our primary sector primary means agriculture sector in the field of agriculture in the field of biotechnology in the field of space science in the field of uh like in the field of uh, medical science we 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 see uh we have seen we have been witnessing lot of development a uh, bit primary sector bit service sector or or that is your uh, secondary that is industrial sector where development is taking place uh, primarily or the, the role of education is there uh, something which is uh, uh, that is a uh, that is a very clear uh, uh, uh understanding i mean we 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 see a very clear relationship in between education and those development in those sectors primary secondary or tertiary right along with those like quantifiable development in a uh, primary sector that is agriculture sector or in secondary sector that is industrial sector or that is your tertiary sector that is your um, service sector uh, we see development in those identified categorically identified sector at the same time a great uh, development we do also uh, witness within the individual within the individual because of that education within the group of individual isn't it that is what development what you were uh, like uh, 10 years back or what you were 15 years back without formal education without knowledge base you are different today because of that exposed exposure to formal education because of the basis of uh, the basis of knowledge you have you are different you are considered as a developed being isn't it now we do not uh, like go for uh, the uh, food items which actually uh, uh, are uh, which 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 actually uh, works like slow poison for your body you do not go for that you do not subscribe for that those as kind of food practices so uh, what you are doing uh, when you are unsubscribing when you are like uh, keeping yourself away from those uh, things which are actually uh, harmful to you or with a uh, with restrict the opportunities in your life that like your consent your knowledge base your i mean uh, the information that helping you you to uh, keeping yourself uh, away from those kind of uh, practices and then, and by doing so you are uh, like uh, ensuring a better life uh, possibilities for you right so in that way it does uh, uh, help it, it does it, it, it like it plays a very constructive role in terms of advancement uh, in science and technology as well as in like in our society and in general and in individual in particular right so thank you very much um for being with me for being with us in this uh, platform in this program and i i hope you'd be getting a more a clear picture once you consult your text prescribed to you right yes sir so um let's uh, finish today uh, we are very close to our uh, given time that is uh, 7 to 9 pm right i uh, will again uh, meet day after tomorrow at the same time the time that is 
uh, 7 to 9 p.m. I wish more, many more participation. You uh, like share with your friends uh, on about today's meet meeting. I'll be happy to again uh, uh, meet you day after tomorrow. Thank you very much all for being with me. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hello.